So hey guys, this is Miss Motivation. I came to you today with a good uh, video, uh, informational video on basically meal portion and meal prep. Um, the reason why is I thought it would be a great idea um, if you are a person that is trying to live a healthier lifestyle, that um, wants to um, change your eating habits, get better at, with your eating habits, then this video is for you. So, if you are wanting to um, see the video, go ahead and stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button as well. And... Um, of course, after you subscribe, hit the bell so that you can get notifications of every video that I put up and leave a comment. Um, this really, it helps me when you leave comments because then I know what you like, I know what you want to hear, and then that way I can make um, different, um, oh, I hurt my hand, I hit it on something and it's hurting. I can make um, different footage on things that, um, that you're very interested in that will help you with your weight loss. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that I want to tell you about is I want to show you this bag I got. I got this through Amazon. It's called Think Fit. This bag is handy dandy for people that work, people that um, even if you don't have a job, and but you are very active, you're out on the road a lot, this bag is a lifesaver. Um, I didn't pull it out of the freezer, but I should have. It has an ice pack that can go in the inside of the bag. And basically, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. You actually get three of three, okay? I only got two in there because two, two of them are that right now. So this right here is the biggest meal portion container of the day in your, your bag. This is your smaller one. This is mainly for either veggies or snacks, okay? So you're gonna put your veggies in these. They open like this. This container, it was only $34 on Amazon, okay? I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying, I don't get any commission. I'm just really wanting to let you know what is a good um, item for you as far as for dieting, for living a healthier lifestyle, this is the item, okay? I like it, I enjoy it, I take it to work, I fix my meals in it, you can prep meals. If you get six of these, you can do, you get two, you get four of these all together, okay? And then two small ones. So you can do at least four meals for the week ahead of time. And you can go ahead and get two of your snacks out of the way. Or you can do, um, go ahead and do your four, five, six. You can get six meals, but you would have to uh, proportion them a little bit different because of the containers are not as big as you would want them to be. And then let me tell you how. Take this container, half and half, meat veggie snack you can go ahead and put two snacks and this was really in a previous video that i showed you the container the snack containers was smaller than the half of this basically so being that it's smaller that means you don't need nothing but a small snack and the snack is basically just a snack to hold you over so this right here is very beneficial if you have your snacks ready already pre-prepped then guess what? All you have to do is grab and go. If you don't, then you're gonna be tempted when you're out on the road to what? A, stop at a fast food. B, order the stuff that you really don't need. And C, feel guilty about it after you do it. Now, if you don't feel guilty about it, then you are not health conscious and you're really not trying to reach the goal that you set out to reach if that makes any sense i mean if you're trying to reach a goal why keep playing with yourself why keep um messing it up why keep putting it off somebody told me one time that we put everything first in our lives except for health 
And that's the truth. Your health is the last thing. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, oh my God, I gotta get on the elliptical for five minutes. Oh my gosh, the stair stepper, I cannot do the stairs. I don't know, This my knees hurt, my back. It's because you're heavy. You are overweight. And even small people have those type of problems. When I was overweight, honey, I had back pain, knee pain, my head hurt, my lower back, my upper back. I mean, abdominal pain. I wasn't eating right. I was just putting anything in my body and basically I just didn't even care. You know, and then one day I just finally got fed up and you know, really I had to decide, what am I gonna do to change this? Am I gonna keep playing with this thing until I just get to 300 and something pounds and then to a point to where I just basically, you know, feel like giving up on myself and everything else? I got to 230 something and I thought it was in the world. I wanted to die. You know, and that is not healthy. Yeah, I don't recommend it for anybody. When you start feeling like that, then that means there's something that you need to do. Psychologically, there's something that is not right. Mentally, there's something that is not right up there. You are in control of your own destiny. I don't care how your genes are. Well, my, my mother was overweight and my father's side of the family, they were overweight and so meant, I am meant to be big. No, honey, no. You can change that. You don't have to be. You're not meant to be anything but what God made you to be. And I just don't believe that God put anybody to be on this earth unhealthy. Unless you came out of your mama's womb 200 pounds at birth, then no. You have a right to your own destiny. Prayer, supplication, getting close to God. God can help you, okay? I've seen people that had been big all their life lose weight, get smaller than me, and look darn good, okay? So you can do it. Don't I don't want to hear it. So the other item, after I don't preach to you so bad, is this Think Fit smoothie cup, coffee cup, or just your cup for your 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 liquids, your drinks. So let me tell you about this bad boy, which is really nice. And you got a side on the this comes off at the top. So if you take your smoothie to work. You have this, which is a shaker. Bing, 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 bing. Put that inside. Your your shake is popping. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Bam. Shake is mixed up, ready to drink. Okay. Then you have this container. So guess what? You can put all your meals in there and put two snacks in here. Take that out. This is a pill container for vitamins. You have both of these. That's plenty enough. You can take, fill these up and use these as, which you're really only supposed to have two snacks per day. Breakfast, snack, lunch, which is your heaviest meal, snack, and then dinner, and no snack. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, if you wanna mess that up, then you can mess that up. It's nobody's fault but your own. I'm telling you, it's a breakfast, snack, lunch, biggest meal, snack, then dinner, smallest meal, then nothing else. Because later on at night, of course, you are not, you're gonna be less active. You're not gonna do nothing, not unless you're a person that frequently go out to the clubs and you party, and then guess what? All that ac alcohol that you done put in your body, all that workout that you done did all week long, as soon as you take a first drink of alcohol, down to your second one and to your third one, you might as well just call it quits. All of everything that you've done was for nothing. Some things calls for sacrifice. I don't drink, so it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just being real. I mean, if you want to lose weight, there are some things that you have to give up. Go ahead and work out. Set you a goal. Do it for a month, then celebrate with one drink. Don't go overboard. And then, you know, then after that, start all over again. And then, you know, to the point to where you don't have to have a drink at all. Maybe it's a glass of wine to relax, a half a glass. There's nothing wrong with that, if that's what you want. 
But, you know, these are just some tips. And in my little bag, and I keep these stashed away. Normally, and it's over there, I'm not gonna go get it. I have sunflower seeds, or sunflower nuts, and they are honey roasted, it's a little sweetness. And um, I do these to snack on. I do cranberries to snack on, celery, it's overrated. I do that, I mean, it's like, I love celery. I used to not. And it's because when I was coming up, I ate it a lot as a child, and I just eventually got tired of it. I like it now. I mean, it's it helps me lose weight. There's your cup. There's where your cup goes, and you got all this space over here for whatever you want it for. Which I got something over here. I'm gonna take a look and see what it is. But um, then you also on your bag. Oh, I forgot about that. So you don't even have to use that other thing as your pill bag, but. This is over here. I don't, I don't need it. I don't take any vitamins unless it's B12, and I do it sublingually. Um, I would get the sublingual pills where I just take the one pill and put it under my tongue and it dissolves. So, and that's basically all that I do. B12 is off the chain. That's a good vitamin for you, and it boosts your metabolism. Also, heard that it helps you the most weight loss. We'll have to do that in another video. So here's your straps. Okay, so we talked about meal portion, and we talked about meal prep. Those containers, that is your meal portion. A whole meal shouldn't be any bigger than that little container. You can do your meat, your veggies, a cup, cup full of veggies. Actually, you can do a cup and a half of veggies. Veggies, as long as they're the darkest green vegetable that you can possibly find you can eat as much as that vegetable as you want to depending on how you cook it you can steam it that's very very healthy raw is even better there's more nutrients it's going to work differently when you put it in your body you may have a bowel movement quicker than what you would if it was cooked now some things are different like you cook greens you might go to the bathroom quicker eating greens I've had raw spinach and cooked spinach, and cooked spinach might send me to the bathroom before. I mean, it's what you want to do. Now, remember, no overly amounts of salt, sodium, salt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Seasoning salt, lemon pepper. When I started my diet, I got rid of the seasoned salt and I got rid of the salt. Somebody's like, well, how in the heck did you season your food? Honey, I got an onion powder. I got garlic powder. I have um, maybe sometimes a little bit of garlic salt. I had rib rub. I had, and it wasn't very salty. I had uh, bro bro beef and chicken broyon cubes. I can never say that word right. I had Italian seasoning, rosemary. Then you like, but you keep saying, well, where's the salt? Lemon pepper has a little bit of salt in it. Trust me. Test it out and see. Then you add your Mrs. Dash and it's off the chain. My food tastes good. It does not taste like it is lacking any salt. Now, it's not over salty because I can't do all the extra salt. But it is very good tastes good it's delicious what you have to get rid of add some extra of something don't just season your food with salt and pepper and call it a day that's not seasoning your food don't taste like nothing if i was to taste it and uh, <laughs> i'm gonna tell you right now you know if if all you use is salt and pepper and you taking and you getting rid of the salt i mean good for you because let me tell you something no salt at all is going to cause you to lose weight quicker than someone that even uses a small amount of salt. I mean, it is what it is. And drinking plenty of water, eight ounce glasses of water a day. Eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. If you can get eight in, if you can do a, a little bit more, don't overdo it because there is a such thing as water gain, but you have to make sure that whatever you're putting in your body, you are letting it out. So they say warmer water is better than cold water because 
warm water goes through you. Cold water has to get warm and then later on, you know, you got to pee and then there it comes out. So I hope these were some good tips for you guys. I really do. I hope that, you know, if you um, had come on to the video a little later in, please subscribe hit the subscribe button to my channel please on the side of the side um, subscribe button hit the notification button that way you are able to get notified for every video that I do hit the like button if you liked it give me a thumbs up and leave a comment let me know what else you want to hear what else I can help you with what advice and throw out some opinions hey I'm not gonna um, shoot you down I appreciate all the opinions. I appreciate if you feel like, you know, you know something better than I do that works better, then go ahead and throw it out there. I'm just basically telling you what I have been doing that helped me. I'm not a physician. I'm not a dietitian. I, I'm, you know, none of that. Not a pharmacist. I, I'm none of that. I was just a person that, you know, did a lot of diet fads. I was one of them ones that sit up late at night watching infomercials and the one that tried all the diet stuff on the market that it worked temporarily but not not a lifetime. So I'm just here to help you. I love you guys. Please stay positive and passionate in everything you do and I'll see you on my next video.